Hey guys, my name is Chris, otherwise known as Legendary. Now, some of you guys might know me from Twitch, where I stream video games, and others of you might know me from TikTok, where I make gaming TikToks. So, today we are actually going to be going through my little routine for how I get ready for when I make content. Now, the first thing we're going to start off with is this hair. Let's go to the washroom. Now, I do a pre-styling routine, which for me actually requires me to wet my hair first and then towel dry it afterwards. So let me do that. So let's get into the pre-styling part of my hair routine. So I actually start with Original by Blumon and I actually don't use too much. I only use about just this much. And for me, that's perfectly fine. I don't need to go too crazy. I don't want my hair feeling too heavy. So let me just evenly spread this out with my hands. I'm just evenly spreading it out through the hair right now. So what I like to start off with is just making sure that the hair goes back. All right, so now I've gotten my hair in the general shape that I want it to be, but to finish it off for the post styling is I'm going to use Fifth Sample by Blumon. So I also don't use too much, just the same thing. And I spread that out evenly. And when I spread it out evenly, you almost can't even tell that I put it on. But for me, that's the type of look that I'm going for because I don't want to show too much product. Uh, and I'm just gonna start running through my hair and also getting the shape that I want. So I'm actually just gonna grab a little bit more product, just cause I was a little bit short. So again, not too much, just keep it light. All right, and this is the final look and we are going to go and do an outfit change now. My name is Chris. Um, a lot of people know me as Chris Daly or Legend Daly. Um, Chris Daly is more of my personal alias. A lot of people know me that way, um, especially IRLs. Uh, but when it comes to gaming or TikTok or the more like global reach, more people actually know me as Legend Daily, which is what my gamer tag is. Um, and I actually grew a lot on TikTok. So TikTok is where I uh, reached majority of my audience. They're all over the world. We're almost at a million followers, we're trying to get there. And I do a lot of gaming content. I also do a little bit of some IRL, just fun content. And in general, I also like to try to motivate people in everything that I am doing in my content. So it's funny because I actually used to be an accountant. Uh, no one really like expects that of me. So I do have my accounting degree. Um, I was in accounting for about two years. And for those two years, I was sitting there at my desk and I'm thinking like, man, like, do I really want to do this forever? And at the same time, I was also sitting there and thinking, I'm putting a lot of time and effort into somebody else's business. And when I leave, I already know, like from the get go, that none of that effort and time I put into that, that business is going to stick with me. Obviously, I'll get the lessons, I'll get the experience, but the time and effort I put into growing, helping um, my employer grow their business, none of that sticks with me. So I thought to myself, hey, like, what do I like to do? I like, I like to film, <laughs> I like to be on camera, I like to make people laugh. And that's when it kind of clicked for me, like maybe I should just try being a content creator. And the best part was, um, it's all for myself and it's for growing my own brand, it's for growing my name, and I have a lot more control in how I want to work. So. That's essentially how I got into content creation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when you get in front of a lot of eyes, it's just natural that you're, you're gonna generate a lot of um, comments that won't make you happy. And what I've come to realize for being in content creation for over two years now is a lot of people can't handle the negativity that comes with it. And as a result, they don't want to show themselves anymore. They don't want to post content anymore. They, they change their content to accommodate the, the audience. And for me, I think that when I, when I see the big creators, what I look up to them for is they're like, they're real to themselves. And I do see their, their hate comments and I'm like, wow, they can like, they just keep going even regardless of, of all this negativity that's, that's trying to like stop them. So um, to me, the biggest factor I think that people should learn when they get into content creation is 
get ready to to have an iron heart because um, it's it's just part of the it's part of the industry. So one thing that I always always preach to people is um, you are far more capable of what you think you can do. Mm -hmm. And for me, I didn't realize that I was capable of one making people laugh, um, two putting a smile on people's day, and even three like motivating people. And I think what a lot of people don't like to do is to share their own story because people fear that they're just not good enough or maybe their life is boring. But I, I can guarantee you guys, like whatever you, whatever you want to talk about or share, there's always an audience for it. You just have to be very patient for it. So for myself, what I always want people to, to know is just just go for it. Don't Don't be afraid. Make that picture post that you want to on Instagram. Make that TikTok that makes you laugh and smile. And ultimately, um, the number one thing though is just be you. Because at the end of the day, if you try to be someone you're not, you're gonna burn yourself out. And that's just completely like normal. Like it happens a lot. You'll see it all the time. You'll see a content creator, they do this type of content, then one day they just disappear. And they come back a year later and they say that they weren't happy. And to me, that just tells me that they weren't following what was true to themselves. I think the number one uh, most important resource in this world is time. And I say this to everybody that asks me this question. And everyone thinks it's, oh, like, let's get money. Let's be like a billionaire and stuff. Let's, let's try to get as many girls as we can. So too many people value different things. But to me, I value time. And the reason I say time is you can always make money and lose money. You can always make friends and lose friends but you will never go back in time. You can never get time back. So for me, my number one motivator is time. And I think for everyone else out there, you should start looking at what you're spending your own personal time on and whether these are actually aligned with your values and how you see yourself in the future. So I, I won't actually say that there's one specific person that inspired me. I like to see things as you are, um, you are a collection of all the creators and people that you surround yourself with, that the content that you consume. So you are essentially the sum of all that. So when it came to me becoming who I am today, there's so many different people. I'll name one of them. And I think this is one that's common for everybody. Uh, Gary Vee, if you guys know who Gary Vee is. Uh, he actually really pushed me and motivated me to step out of my comfort zone in my accounting job. And I was, I think I was only 22 at the time. And I was thinking like, wow, I'm going to work here for the next 50 years. Dope. And then um, he helped me realize that 20 is a very, like your 20s is a super duper young age. And that should be a time where you should just get out there, explore different things. Don't be afraid. So I think um, he's one example that I can give. If you want to be a content creator, I just got to make this clear. Uh, you are your own biggest asset and both on the inside, what you know, what you do, and also on the outside, how you look and how you appear. So for me, uh, when it comes to like who you are physically on the outside, and I'm not including like clothes or fashion, there's only two things you can really change. One is your body and two is your hair. So uh, for me, I, for my body, I am really like good on my, my fitness, my health. I, I definitely love to follow um, some kind of physical, physical, um, physical activity routine so that I can stay in shape. And when it comes to my hair, what's funny is, uh, I actually realized how important hair affects your appearance since I was super duper young. So actually when I was in, I think I was like eight, no, no, not even, I'd say I was 10 or 11. I was already dyeing my hair oh, wow. and I was already like, uh, I had, so I had like blonde bangs. I had a full orange head before. I used to have like a red tail here. Um, I could show you guys the photos if you guys want. <laughs> and then, um, uh, we'll put that in yeah, all right. So check it right here. <laughs> and then uh, I even like straightened my hair as a kid in high school. So I would, uh, I used to have like long hair like down here and I would wake up an hour early every morning before school to style my hair. So I really think that your hair is super duper important because it's one thing that you can completely change. You can make it, um, you can make it exactly how you want it to be. And I think one thing that people don't realize is just naturally, 
people associate you with a certain hair. So um, when I started doing TikTok and then I did like one hair change, like I went from like this kind of look into like a more uh, like mid split kind of look. Mm -hmm. And everybody freaked out. They're like, oh my gosh, yo, that's not a Legend Daily look. That's not a Chris <laughs> look. You got to bring it back. And then obviously over time they got used to it. And then I went back to this look and now everyone's like, dude, you gotta go back to the mid split. Like, what are you doing? So um, as a content creator, it's super duper important to have your own kind of like hair and your look because in a sense, it kind of defines how people remember you. I actually like to have a flexible, like when my hair is undone, I like it in a way where it's flexible enough for me to do multiple hair looks. So what do I feel today? Do I feel a mid split today? We'll do a mid split. Do I feel a pompadour today? We'll do the pompadour. So for me personally, I like having options, but when it came to like, I have to choose this or this, um, it's this kind of ties back to the topic of how, um, I don't want to say hate comments now, but more so resistance to change. And a lot of people are resisting you trying a new hair look, which is going to be completely normal. And at first I was like, oh man, maybe they're right. I'll just go back to my old hair look. And then I'll go back to my old hair look and then I don't feel the joy or excitement from my look anymore. And then I would try again and explore. And eventually I just came to the conclusion that, you know what, no matter what you do, people always like find a way to disagree with, with, what, with what you decide. So just, just go, with, go with the flow, go with what you want and there will be resistance, but over time, everybody always adjusts. Nobody has time to, to call you out on your hair like for a year straight. So like, don't overthink it. Initially, when I first started making content, I actually used to do fitness. So I was known as like, oh, Chris Daly is a lifter. He, he does a lot of deadlifts and squats. So there came a point where I was like, dang, like, I, I'm not really focusing on my workouts anymore. I'm just kind of filming myself in the gym now, do exercises, but I don't feel the workout. So um, once I went from fitness into more lifestyle and then more gaming, um, I guess you can say that um, in this current phase that I am, it's more of like a TikTok slash gaming phase. So in my free time, I'm actually like really focusing on my health again and really trying to wake up super early, get my gym in. And I also like to collaborate with other friends who also have the same interests. So I also have other photographers, videographer friends, and I, I'm like, yo, you trying to shoot? And then like, we'll just go out and shoot Instagram photos. So that's kind of like what I do in my free time. And of course, uh, hanging out with a girlfriend. Shout out to my girlfriend. <laughs> Favorite game. So I'm playing a game called Splitgate and it's a very new game. Um, it's a mix of Halo and Portal and it's actually still in beta. So you, most people probably haven't heard about it, but prior to Splitgate, I was playing Valorant. I was playing uh, Fortnite got into a little bit of RuneScape. Um, so I, I play a multitude of games, but usually I like to play, I, I, I like, I, when it comes to games, I'm really good with sticking what I, with what I enjoy. My biggest pet peeve, I would say that, um, I wouldn't, okay, I wouldn't really call this a pet peeve, but as a matter of fact, I might be a hypocrite for saying this. So there are times where I have people who actually like look up to what I do. And when I tell them that, look, it's gonna be okay, just give this a try and go for it. And like, you have nothing to lose. No one's gonna judge you. And even if they do, like they're not important people, they're irrelevant. Like just, just give what you want to do a try, whether that's streaming, photography, um, trying to become a, become a videographer, just go for it. But my pet peeve is when it's like an infinite loop of like, oh, but I can't, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, excuses. So um, obviously like it's normal to have uh, that initial fear of doing stuff, but when it becomes incessant to the point where it's like, I can't help you anymore because this is something that you have to just overcome yourself. Mm -hmm. For me, that's a pet peeve, but I, I wouldn't say that I hate people who do that. Mm -hmm. It's more of like, a, I'm trying to push you and you just have to believe in my push. That's it. Gotcha. So yeah. I'll talk about this one point and I think for this point, um, this might be a little bit deep and I think I learned this in school somewhere. So if, if you feel like you can relate to this message from something you learned in class, then it probably is from that. So there's this like idea that 
A lot of people think that freedom is being able to do whatever you want, essentially. But uh, to me, my definition of freedom is being, um, being able to do things free from the opinions of others. And um, that is the message that I have to share with people, because at the end of the day, a lot of times we play these little scenarios in our head of people judging us or what if people are thinking this or maybe I'm not good enough or I'm not going to make it. And usually that stems from us trying to overvalue what how other people's like thoughts and feelings about us are. So I would try to say to other people out there, try to become free in the sense that you can do whatever you want, regardless of what other people think about you. Because to me, that is the ultimate freedom. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. That was That's it. Awesome. Oh, man. Chris. All right. <laughs>